I'm here with Rob Field with the EDA of Riverside County. Rob, can you tell me, why did you put on today's event, the Exporter Manufacturers event? Well, it's sort of a hidden secret. People don't realize the diversity, the range of products that are produced and exported from this county. Uh, it was a good opportunity to show not just the Board of Supervisors, but anybody coming by, residents of the county, they should know that uh, the entrepreneurial spirit, spirit is alive and well in Riverside County. People are working hard to grow their businesses, and it's a great place to do business. So we thought this was a good opportunity to, to show that off. Now, you, you established the office of, about a year ago, the Office of Foreign Trade. I'm sure there's a lot of manufacturers in the county who don't even know it exists. What can we do or, or what is being done to bring some of those other manufacturers on board to realize what you offer them? Well, right now we're about to launch a new manufacturers association for all the manufacturers in Riverside County. That's going to be a really big deal for us. And it brings everybody together, puts them in a, in a room, gives them a forum to interact and get to know what kinds of opportunities are being offered in this county. Financing, foreign direct investment, all sorts of exporting opportunities, all these things will be brought together through that association. We're already doing some of it, but this will help really, I think, get the word out more completely to all the businesses that are operating in Riverside County. Now, Rob, what, what is the county doing differently that, say, other counties are doing to really support their, their, their exports and, and support their manufacturers? Well, Supervisor Ashley was just talking about in the board meeting the fact that he doesn't know of any other county that has a foreign trade office or is doing anything in the foreign trade arena. We don't know of anybody either. I mean, we're, there are some states that do it, but uh, not even all states do it, including California, unfortunately. So um, we're, uh, we're probably the only one that's doing it, and we saw an opportunity. We like to think of ourselves as being highly innovative uh, and not afraid to try new things, and this is one that's really taken off. And actually, the foreign trade office opened two years ago. Uh, but it's been a huge success. We've had we've entered into agreements with several different countries, including Canada and Croatia, Japan, uh, and that number of countries that are interested in doing business with us is growing every day. United Arab Emirates is probably going to be the next one that we enter into an agreement with. So um, we're just looking, you know, uh, taking every opportunity we can to improve the business climate in Riverside County and foreign direct investment, foreign trade are huge, largely untapped potential. Now that's one thing, not just the exports that you're doing, <clears throat> but the fact that you're bringing foreign investors to this country to help manufacturers grow. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, one of the big problems that business faces right now is tight credit markets. And there are a lot of mechanisms, a little bit outside the norm, that are available for people to draw in foreign sources of money to get their businesses capitalized to the extent that they need to be to, to grow, to expand, and to become exporters. And a great example of that, of course, is MVP RV, who got a sizable foreign direct investment, for, actually the second largest in the, in the country last year uh, from China, uh, got them capitalized up and running, and they're now exporting products to China that we have some on display here today. So uh, that's a great example. Another example is the EB-5 visa program, where people can invest, and in exchange for that investment, get a visa. Uh, to enter the country legally, uh, a lot of different ways to draw money in. You don't just have to go to a bank. A lot of banks are saying no right now, so find other ways, and that's what we're helping people do. We're marrying people up, uh, businessmen with investors, uh, to, to allow them to continue to expand. Now, as the head of the EDA, one of the, you, one of the things that you're trying to do is attract other businesses to the county and, and bring more manufacturers to the county. What are you doing in that regard? I know a little bit about your Fast Track program, but what is accounting doing to encourage business to look at this county for work? Well, one of the things we're doing, related to the, what we're talking about today, uh, letting people know that we're actively promoting our local businesses. Not everybody is doing that, but we are. We want everybody to know, Riverside County is open for business. If you want to grow your business, go to a place where there's a large trained workforce and a lot of, you know, frankly, a lot of money available and a lot of, a lot of facilities available to do business in we're making it clear to people that that's, this is a perfect environment for you to, to develop, to grow your business. For those manufacturers and businesses that are back east or in the Midwest that are suffering horrendous weather conditions, there's a lot of reasons to come to this county, correct? Oh, man. You know, the climate doesn't get much better than this one for you know, year-round temperate temp, you know, temperatures. We have a really great place. We're a really great place to do business. Uh, you don't face that kind of stuff. Yeah, it gets a little warm in the summertime, but not like it's happening back in the East Coast right now. In the wintertime, it doesn't get any better than here. So, yeah, you've got a, a, an abundance of uh, good places to do business. Uh, it really is a great place climatically. You know, the business climate's good. 
the weather's good, you name it, we're a great place to do business.